What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, the Lions fan. I appreciate you checking out my video. Today, guys, just my weekend rambling series. It's Saturday morning at about almost 8, 10 in the morning here. Got up, got showered and whatnot. You probably are hearing my dishwasher going, and I got my uh, washer going as well. So it's going to be a little bit contaminated, um, or the video is going to be a little bit contaminated. So just we're going to go ahead and just work through that here, guys. Um, just my weekly rambling series where I talk about topics that are particularly interesting to me. I hope they're interesting to you as well. If not, just go ahead and um, go on to the next video or whatnot. There's quite a bit of videos that I got. I got beer reviews and I got Detroit Tigers stuff, even though the Tigers actually played last night. But they had a, I thought it was going to be rained out, but they actually ended up playing the game. Um, I didn't get any updates on my phone, and it was like 1030 at night, so I figured it was postponed. But apparently that wasn't the case. But they ended up losing 8 to 5 for going on a 9, like going 9 for 11. Now they're on a four game losing streak. Like I said, the, this, week, this year the Tigers have been very streaky. They, they, they'll win a lot, like 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 games, and then they'll lose. They're on a four game losing streak right now. Who knows how many more games they're going to lose. So what they've gained when they've won all those games are just going to piss it all away. And that's very frustrating as a Tigers fan or any fan who's ever experienced that. It's very frustrating. Um, Sports Center today, this morning, said they were five out. So five games out of uh, first place. So, And I don't know how far they're out of the wild card. i got to imagine probably two or three games. But like I said, guys, for the Tigers, it's probably not going to be uh, – you're not going to see them in the playoffs. And if they do make the playoffs, they just don't have the pitching to, to advance. So – that's the really that's really all there is about it. It's kind of being very truthful. Um, I went and seen the Jason Bourne movie last weekend. I didn't vlog about it last week, but I like the Jason Bourne movies. And if you like action-packed movies that are 100 to 120 minutes, right around there, if you go to a movie theater, you're going to like it. I have always liked the Jason Bourne series, except for the one where uh, they tried to do like a Jason Bourne-like movie. It, it just didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. That's the only part of the series that movie I didn't particularly care for, but this latest Jason Bourne movie is very, very good. Matt Damon, I believe it's Matt Damon, did a very, very good job uh, with that movie, and it, he usually does a pretty good job in any of the movies that he does. So, so I was particularly, I was pleased with what I seen there. I would recommend you guys seeing it. Um, <clears throat> Eric Ebron. <sighs> It looked like earlier in the week he, would, he was going to have a torn Achilles, but it looks like it was just a bad ankle sprain. Um, the reports around here are saying that he's going to be ready by the by the first game of the regular season. Um, I'll just have to wait and see, wait and see about that. I think they're it's probably going to be the case, but they said they had to cart him off the field and they couldn't put any pressure on it. So I'm wondering if it's more severe than what they're telling us, but. I hope not, just coming from a Lions fan, because we need Eric Ebron to be on the team, and we need to have him do well. This is, probably would be his breakout year. Um, I'm getting ready to go back to school after tw after 20 years of graduating college, and I've graduated my associate's degree uh, down in Battle Creek at Kellogg Community College. If you guys know other people that aren't from Michigan, <clears throat> the Kellogg cereals, they're made right there. That's what that community college was named, kind of named after. Kellogg's, that part. It's in Battle Creek, Michigan. That's where I particularly, or not particularly, excuse me, where I went to school at and got my associate's degree, graduated. And now I'm going to head on to LCC and further my education. Which this time, instead of going for uh, like a help desk position, um, kind of that's what I do, a support position, I'm going to actually go into computer programming. And for me, it was kind of intimidating at first to be a, 18, 19 year old kid and wanting to go into that field but not knowing anything about it. I knew I wanted to go into computers, but I just felt at the time programming was a little bit intimidating. So I didn't go down that road. Excuse me. No, I kind of wish I would have went down that road. So, but I'm going to do a big career change. I'm guessing it's probably going to be like a five or six year kind of deal uh, with going through that um, transition and whatnot. I'm going to try and get my bachelor's degree. So, and I've only got one class going this semester for the fall semester. So, <clears throat> trying to just get my feet wet kind of deal and 
see how it goes. I spent being an out of county person or living in an out of county county and going to LCC was almost like a thousand dollars. So and that's including my book. So a little little steep, little steep. I probably should have went just to Michigan State for a couple hundred dollars more, but it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, continuing on, guys. Um, the Lions Steelers recap. Like I said in my last video, I was pleased with what I saw. Although I, I didn't pick it up till the end of the first quarter. Now I've seen some highlights of when Stafford was in there and whatnot. A little bit concerning that the the projected starters couldn't protect Stafford. Um, that is a little um, a little concerning to me, but it's only the first preseason game. I'm pretty sure they'll probably get all that worked out. Now the second and third tier teams I thought did much better, although they were against the Steelers' second and third uh, teams. So I guess it is what it is. The, uh, the blend of the people coming in there should give Stafford adequate protection. Like I said, it's the first game of the year for this season. Probably jacked up, excited, whatnot, and probably missing some assignments. So I'm not too for me. For me, as a, a casual Lions fan and blogging about it, I'm not real concerned about that. So um, I'm. I'm Probably pretty sure Caldwell will get it corrected and they'll come out in the second game and hopefully we'll see some improvement. I think they play the Bengals next, but I'll look and I'll uh, I'll put it down in the comments. Um, and as you guys know, John Saunders passed away. I watched him on uh, the sports reporters. I usually watch that on a Sunday. I just feel bad for the for the guy's family. When I, I don't even really know what even happened. All I did learn was that he that he passed away. I liked his reporting personally. I liked the style that he did. I liked the interaction that he did with his other panelists. Just a really, really, really cool guy. I mean, I I would probably hang out with him if he lived in Michigan, which I don't know if he did or not. I doubt it, but I probably would. I would sit and have a beer with him, talk, I'll do all that sort of thing with him. So he seemed like a really genuine, nice person and pretty cool guy. And it's kind of sad to see him uh, Sad to see him passed away and his family kind of grieving. So, my condolences. And kind of last but not least, um, as you guys know, I did blog about a couple, probably a month or two ago, I was looking for a convertible. That has been put on the back burner. I'm actually looking to, to build a garage here. This place doesn't have a garage. <clears throat> as you know, as I was blogging about putting my roof on, which I love those green shingles, it's just a little dog leg driveway or a backwards L-shaped driveway. I want to put a garage in here. Excuse me, I still must be tired. <laughs> I didn't get didn't get much sleep last night. Um, it's, an, it's a backwards L-shape. It goes right to my little garage back here, which I might blog from. I don't quite know if I'm going to do that or not yet, but I need to have a garage in before I can even consider getting toys, I guess. Now, there is a Mustang down here right in Eaton Rapids at the local dealership. They only want like $5,800, $5,900 for it. It's pretty nice. I looked underneath it. It looked it looked like it had been garage kept its whole life. It, or if not, they've someone put new floors in it or whatnot. But the paint looks immaculate. The underside looks pretty good. I, I know it was owned by an older couple in town because I've seen it driving around here. So I got to imagine it's been pretty, pretty good taking care of and pampered. So... I've been considering buying it, but right now i got to put a garage up here even before I can consider buying something like that, and I'm sure that'll be gone by the time I can put my garage up, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, and last but not least, guys, we're going past nine minutes now. Last but not least, uh, I kind of wanted to talk about the dating scene here a little bit. As you guys know, me and my uh, the girl I was seeing, we uh, parted ways, mutually parted ways, whatnot, and it's... <laughs> It's been a it's been a bear trying to find somebody to um, to even just go out on a date with. Um, now, me particularly, I don't really. I'm not someone who goes out to the bars and tries to pick up women or anything like that. That's not been my uh, not been a thing I've done. Even though I like even though I like going out to bars, interacting with people and whatnot, or going out with friends, it's more or less what it is. 
But for me to actually go out and try to, and I don't, and I mean, I mean this term loosely, pick up women. You're not really trying to pick them up. You're trying to interact with them, trying to interact with them enough where they are comfortable enough with you, and they want may want to go on a, on a date and maybe a less um, or a more civilized uh, place, maybe like dinner or maybe somewhere like a bar, pub, drinks, so. Stuff like that. I'm, that's something that I struggle with, and I probably always will struggle with. But anyway, and on the online dating scene, I have I've given up on that. I've given up on that. I think those the women that are on those sites, and this is just my own personal opinion, they're looking for a guy eight, nine, ten, and when most guys are probably five, six, four, five, six, sevens. Um, that's just my own personal opinion. They kind of look at your, like I said earlier, they look at your photograph. He's not hot enough for me. It's on to the next one, or whatever the case is. I don't think they actually look at a whole entire profile. But they, I'm, yeah, I'm done with my ramble. I mean, I'm done with those dating sites as well. So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, guys. It's just stuff I just wanted to rant about and blog about and whatnot. Um, I'm actually really excited to go back to school, and because it's been a while, I'm kind of excited, but I'm kind of a little bit. I don't want to say scared, but maybe a little bit uneasy about it. It's been 20 years since I've been in a classroom. So a classroom style environment like that where I've got kids that are just coming out of high school and then there may be even people older than me that need to be retrained on some stuff. So it's, it'll be an adventure, guys, and I'm sure, I'm, sure I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll succeed. I'm not saying I'm not trying to say anything like that. It's just <laughs> when you've haven't done something for a very long period of time. There's some anxiety that goes along with it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. It's going on 20 after 8, and we're almost on 12 minutes now. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and hope to see you guys again soon, and I'll have my next ramble next weekend. Anyway, guys, take care, guys. Peace.